Right, today I'm going to be making savoury muffins for you. Um, so I've put my oven on to 190 and I've set my chopping board up with my washcloth underneath so it doesn't slip. Okay, I've washed my hands and I've got my apron on. Okay, so let's prep up some ingredients. So I've got half a red pepper here. Now, savoury muffins, um, you can change up the ingredients that you put into them. I'm going to be using red pepper and onion um, with uh, three different types of cheese. I've got feta, parmesan and um, cheddar. But you could um, add bacon into them or ham or um, sweet corn and any sort of vegetables you want really. But we're keeping them to savoury muffins and they are surprisingly tasty. I made them um, last week with uh, feta and onion, leek, carrot, um, and my children love them. They're a really good, healthy, tasty snack. So, now slice the pepper uh, lengthways. I'm gonna bunch it together, which makes it a little bit quicker to dice. So, bridging over, dice the pepper. Now, you wanna make sure that it's even-sized pieces, or uniform, as we call it, um, so that you haven't got one great big lump of chunk of red pepper in your um, muffins and, and one small bit. Right, I've got half an onion here, so to prepare that, I'm just going to take off both ends like that, and then take off the skin, hopefully in one. No, that didn't happen, did it? Um, like that. And then I'm gonna bridge over. See I'm holding my bridge like that. Okay, bridging over, holding it tightly. Slice through, thin, even slices. Before turning it the other way to dice it. Okay, so hold it in place, and there we go. what has been done before is cheese and olive in the um, savoury muffins. You can even add a bit of chilli, some herbs, um, just spice things up a bit. I think I'm going to be adding a bit of basil today. Um, I'll show you the basil. Basil here, so I'm using some fresh basil. Let's put that back over there for the moment. Right, so that's my veggies prepped up. So now I'm going to move on to... making the mixture. So, in the bowl, I've got plain flour. Two hundred and twenty-five, oh, that's a bit cloudy. Um, 225 grams, I believe. But I will put the recipe onto Doddle for you all to see. Um, so flour goes in there, I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of baking powder, just give it that lift, and crack the eggs, ah, where are we going with that, crack the eggs on the side of the bowl and then open it up like that, get the egg into the dish. next one. <clears throat> now the reason why we crack them into the bowl first is so we don't get shell into the mixture. Okay, so we then get a fork and beat your eggs. Um, right, so then we put the bowl back. Now, um, put my dried ingredients into, not dried ingredients, my chopped up ingredients, what I've just done, my pepper and onion, into the mixing bowl. Also gonna add in all my other ingredients, really. Um, some cheese. Actually, if I put that over there, because I've just realized, we need to chop up the basil, don't we? 
Oh, need to drop the egg over that. Right. So, I'm going to grab some basil. Okay, you can use any herb you want. Um, so, pull off the leaves. And then just roughly chop it. Bunch it together and roughly chop three. Make sure that your herbs small enough. You don't have to use fresh herbs, you could use dried herbs. That'd be absolutely fine. Now you could add in um, some, even some tomato puree, just to spice things up a bit. Um, curry powder, depending upon your liking. Right, let's go with the cheese. So I've got feta here, so I'm just gonna crumble that with my hands into the bowl, like so. And then a bit of parmesan. Now, if you really don't like cheese, okay, you could leave the cheese out. Just do vegetable muffins with pure, pure tomato puree or um, pesto in them. Right, so there's a bit of parmesan in there. All right, so now we need to add in the wet ingredients. So let's move the chopping board around. So Right, over here, right, get all the rubbish out of the way, that help. Okay, so, take your egg in the bowl. And that goes in with the oil as well. So you can see no fat, um, no butter or margarine in this recipe, just some oil. And then we get a mixing spoon. Right, just to show you that it can be done, I'm going to add in a bit of tomato puree. <clears throat> which will give a different colour to the cakes and they come out of the oven. So now I'm just going to beat it together with your spoon. I'll put a bit of pepper in there. So all the mixture is combining. Just make sure we get all the flour mixed up. Don't want any flour lurking around at the bottom. Right, I'm just adding in. If your mixture is looking a little bit dry, just add in a drop of milk. So there we go, that's all going into the cases now. So, actually, let's put a little bit more in there. It's still looking quite dry. Because I've got extra ingredients, because I've got extra cheese in it. Just dried it out a little bit. But I will put all this detail onto the recipe page on Doddle. Right, so let's put that to one side. And then we need a muffin tray. So, put your cake cases, muffin cases even, into the holes on the tray. Aiming for 12 muffins. Let's see if the mixture 
I don't put too much in each cake case, but it will um, spread spread to all. Sometimes if you overfill them, you'll end up with less, but it doesn't matter. So the baking powder I've added in, because um, that's the raising agent, to help the cakes to rise, the muffins to rise in the oven. Still looking a little bit dry. So I did the rest of the milk. That's better. Okay, so you see it's that sort of soft mixture. Right, now I'm going to do this with a teaspoon and a mixing spoon. Sink. So you want a big spoon of your mixture and then using the teaspoon push it away from you into the cake case. So if we put a spoon in each and then if we've got more mixture in the bowl we'll go back around adding bits to each cake case or to the ones that have less in it anyway. Try to get it into the cake case, not around the outside like I just did. Um, I think we're gonna manage to get each cake case done. So I'm gonna get 12, looking at how much mixture I've got left. Okay, so you can see, oh dear, I just missed that bit there. Let's wipe that off. Right, so cake case is all filled and they're going to go into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, I did mention earlier I preheated my oven to 190. Okay, right, there we go, and we'll be back in a bit.